I think there's a lot of things within the Christian community, which is very much based in, are we there yet? How do we get there? What do we do to get there? And you're going around and around, more performance to discover actually the truth of what is already there and already there. You, we're already there. We just need to come from a there perspective, not a how do you get there perspective. And of course, all religion and churches promote programs that help you get there. Now, there's a sense where, yeah, you're helping people learn things that will help them on their journey, which is fine. But the reality is the perspective in which you view things will determine a lot of how that's that worked. And if you view that you need to do things to accomplish something, to enable you to get somewhere or be someone particularly, I think identity is the key. Um, then you're going to be pressured into performance and be subject to manipulation by others, whether it be church or everything else, for that performance so that you are accepted by God and the church and the denomination. And again, beliefs determine whether you're accepted or not and behaviors determine whether you're accepted or not. And therefore, there's a lot of pressure, therefore, to believe and to behave like the norm. Uh, and we're all uniquely and wonderfully made so that we have a relationship which is independent of our beliefs and our behavior. Now, obviously, if you have a relationship with God and you are becoming like him by the renewal of your mind, then you are going to behave more and more like he behaves. Love. Out of love. And ultimately, I think that's the key that sets us free. If we know we're unconditionally loved, then we don't have to work for it. Which is very challenging to the religious mindset, because we've been conditioned to work for something. Even though we've been taught we live by grace, actually, most people who are flowing in Christianity or functioning in Christianity actually work by function by works. You know, and read your Bible, pray every day, witness, tithe, offer, give, do this, serve in the church, on and on and on and on. All of the criteria that sort of formulated to get you to perform and keep that performance going. And so many Christians are just going round and round and round and round. They're not really getting anywhere because they don't know who they are and therefore they're not functioning out of their identity and their position. We are already in that position. We don't have to accomplish something to outwork that position. We are in that position. Now, discovering our identity, which unveils the position of sonship that we're in, enables us to outwork our sonship. But the opposite has been true. We have to do something to accomplish our sonship. Now, I do believe in maturing and growing, but that comes from our relationship deepening. Therefore, if we deepen our relationship with the Father, we will deepen our understanding of our identity as sons. So it's all relational, um, which means God is not looking for us to do something to enable us to be someone that we already are. He just wants to reveal the vast sum of his thoughts to us so that we'll discover who we already are. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.